Hey guys, it's Steve here. Welcome back. Today is Sunday, September 7th, 2014. Um, I have a lot to share with you today, and I'm probably going to actually do two separate videos again. Um, one with Hot Wheels, and the other one not Hot Wheels. Um, so I'll go ahead and do the Hot Wheels. Um, the other stuff I have to share with you later is I have some Matchbox, some M2, uh, M2s, um, some Auto, holler, auto Haulers, um, uh, M2 Auto Haulers and Auto World and Greenlight. So lots of stuff to share. Um, mostly ba stuff based that on, on stuff that I found um, this past week. In addition to um, some items that I got through trades and purchases through um, through our C4 club meet this uh, yesterday, um, which is our monthly club club meet. So I got a lot of stuff to share with you. Let's go ahead and get started. Um, first thing I want to share with you is Walmart. Uh, let's see if I get it in here. Walmart has now released um, their the newer um, mystery models. Um, so let's get some light on here. So um, just like the previous mystery models, um, which is, comes in comes in the um, um, pillow packs, like this. Um, they have now have the new release out. Um, I've only found I have access to about six or seven Walmarts in my area within a 30 mile radius I guess um, and so far I've only seen these in one Walmart um, so there are 12 cars in the set um, Acura HSC Concept Anthracite uh, Slicked Back Bone Shaker, nice one Bedlam uh, 06 Dodge Viper SRT10 Chrysler Firepower Concept 68 Chevy Nova uh, CCM Country Club Muscle, Ultra Rage, Triumph TR6, and Power Pro. And in case you're wondering, yes, four of these cars in the mystery models are actually the same four cars that are found in this year's um, uh, Scavenger Hunt Kroger um, uh, cases. So it looks like they took the, the four scavenger hunts from Kroger and they included them in the in the latest um, release of the mystery models. Okay. Um, the ones that I'm going to show you today there are five of them. Um, I'm going to show you the four uh, mystery four scavenger hunts as well as this last one, the Power Pro. Um, just so you know, in case you wanted to know, in case you're wondering, um, if you ever come up to any of these mystery sets, pack sets, at the store you notice that some of them are open it's because people they don't know what's in them of course and they want to see what's in them before they buy them well there is a trick to knowing how to knowing what's in them without actually opening them and that trick is if you look at you know, on the front of every mystery um, pack pillowcase um, pill pack there's a number um, the first number is a G uh, a three digit number uh, most likely but the, the number that you want to pay attention to is the last two numbers after the slash in this case, it's, um, this number is 09. This 09 corresponds to the number that is in the in this pack. Okay. Um, so, for example, um, 09 in this case is is the um, uh, actually yeah, it's the CCM Country Club Muscle. Okay. So um, another example is. Uh, another one here. Um, this is number eight. In the back says so number eight. And number eight is the '66 Chevy Nova. Okay. So just a little tip, if you didn't know, now you know. Now you can actually look for the ones you are specifically looking for. Um, hopefully, uh, hoarders won't go there and just get one of specific one of a specific um, casting, like the Bone Shaker or the Viper, etc. Okay. So those are out. Uh, let me share with you which uh, the ones that I decided to pick up. Okay, uh, so let me adjust my lighting here. Um, first one is the is the Power Pro. This is the the um, let's see the number twelve car. Okay, I kind of like this one. I, I don't generally. Um, there weren't many of the ones on this case that I liked, but I like this one. It kind of reminds me of the the tsunami car or, or, or um, you know a Cel the Pice Peak Celica. So pretty cool car. Um, and then there's the four um, scavenger hunt cars um, in no particular order. 
we have uh, number eight, which is the 66 Chevy Nova. Purple and white, pretty nice. We have, of course, the yellow bone shaker. Um, great looking, kind of burnt orange, the TR6 Triumph. And finally, the red 2006 Dodge Viper SRT10. Okay. Now, um, we, our club does downhill races, and um, in July meet my daughter won, the Piper, uh, my daughter Piper won, and then in the August meet um, I won. And for that, we both got to choose um, um, old five packs, and the, the, the two packs that I put, that I got, uh, there's only really three cars that I wanted, and I gave my daughter the rest of them. Um, this is one of them, it's the, a white Cadillac. One of my favorite castings. Okay. Uh, we have an orange Viper. And this particular one, which I might do some photos on, an old, nice old Diora. Okay. All right, moving on. Can to keep it going? Um, all right, so um, next thing I want to share with you is... Um, P case, if you don't already know, P case is out hitting Walmart's. It's also hitting Target. You didn't hear it from me. Um, so I found a couple of the um, the new P case Super Treasure Hunts, which is the um, the Harley Davidson Fat Boy. Um, here's a picture of both of them. If you can just the light here, uh, this is what they both look like. Um, the Super, um, as you can see here, the Super is actually a little bit darker than the main line, which is the top one. Um, and in case I you know people like to know, um, on the Supra, the treasure hunt symbol is on the back of, probably can't see it, on the back of the bike right above the brake light. So, in case you want to know. Um, this is on a, a kind of a crappy card, so guess what? It's going to get open. So I'm going to open it now. Okay. There you go. Now, in some of these, um, I've seen reports on Facebook that um, on some of them, the back the tires are actually are actually coming off the rim. Um, I don't know if I would consider it an error, but it is kind of nice to see them, interesting to see them packaged like that. So, there is. Let's see if it stands up. There is the super the PK Super Treasure Hunt. Okay, cool. All right, moving on. Um, I'm gonna, now going to show you what I've got in no particular order. Um, this I found at Walmart. This is the um, the latest retro entertainment piece, the Fast and Furious Dodge Charger uh, 70 RT. Very nice piece um, of of the set. I actually have the whole set loose, but I did want an extra one of these because this is actually a really um, great looking piece. So, picked up one of those. Adjust my lights here. All right. Um, this next piece is was last two weeks ago. Two weeks ago, a deal of the day, Hot Wheels deal of the day. It's the uh, Series Eleven, um, 1971 Maverick Grabber, the Neo Classics. Nice looking piece. Uh, limited to just four thousand pieces, and this is number three thousand two hundred eighty-two. Okay. So I only got one of those. I'm trying to cut back on, on my deal of day stuff, even though it's a good price. I think it was like ten bucks. So um, the next two pieces um, actually got through trades. Um, not nothing new, but um, I was able to get. I already had two of the, um, two of the off-white um, Walton trucks, and um, and so I happened. I was able to get two um, um, bright white um, trucks. Um, here. So I got those through trades. Um, thanks for rolling. Okay. Alright. Now I'm going to go show you a couple other main lines from PK's. Um, here is the, um, the PK's regular treasure hunt, the La Fasta. Um, when I hit the first dump in at Walmart when they first came out, I only had, there was only two in the entire dump in. Um, and then I hit a second dump in earlier, in a, about two or three days later, and that one had about um, five or six um, regulars. So um, these are getting 
distributed very oddly, if you will. But uh, there it is. Um, here's the new. Let me go ahead and turn this off here real quick. And we can use it to lean against. All right. So here's the new, um, pretty nice piece, the 2004 Corvette Stingray. I um, actually kind of like that color, kind of cool color. Okay. And we have a Twin Mill 3 um, red. Pretty nice color. Okay. All right. All right, and the rest of the stuff I'm going to share with you real quickly um, is basically old main lines um, in no particular order. Um, we have this BMW 325i. Pretty nice. Uh, metal base, metal body, opening doors on that one. Um, another one of my favorites, an Umigog. Umigog, excuse me. Um, I don't think I have this one. Actually, I'm pretty sure because I got those through Ismail, Freeman, and a Lamborghini Diablo X Racer Series, Cruiser Series. All right, the next pieces I'm going to show you are. Um, I'm going to go start with some old ones here. Um, so one of the main one of the club members in the club brought his. Uh, he's trying to sell a lot of his stuff, and he brought in his 2006 and 2010 master sets. And so we get it we get from first pick at um, a lot of the main lines. Um, so here we go. We have some interesting pieces here that I'm going to be sharing with you. We have 4-1. Interesting piece. Uh, I don't think there's anything small of this except for maybe the go-kart. Um, I bought it just because it's cool looking um, and it's different. So, cool. Oops. Take my light out here. Oh, man. All right, there's a little bulb on that one. All right, that's okay. Maybe just this one here. All right, um, Twin Mill Two, and these are excuse me, these are all 2000 from the 2006 Master Case. Um, Lotus Esprit Spy Force. <clears throat> I thought this was kind of neat. Interesting color, gold. Um, 69 El Camino. Um, for my Ferrari collection, we have X Racers Ferrari 360 Modena. We have a Porsche Carrera GT, yellow. 2006 first editions. Um, another one of my favorite um, cars, Celine S7. In blue. A tuned Toyota Supra. And finally a Chrysler 300C Hemi. Alright, um, moving on to 2010 Master Set ca um, case stuff. We have 2010 Master Set um, main lines, we have the Hummer H2 in a white and green deco, as well as yellow. Okay. Um, another one of my favorite fantasy cars, we have, um, I guess, a gold uh, Fangula and a black one. <clears throat> Um, we have here another Celine S7. Of course, this is the 2010 case versus the 2006 case that I just showed you. Celine S7 in black and in red. Um, this is one I haven't seen or I don't have for my NSX collection. We have the accurate NSX. And another Cadillac LMP. Um, again, another favorite, um, fan favorite, Mad Props. I have three of these. We have this version. 
This is kind of blue. We have this one, which is black. And this one, which is orange, yellow, and green. Okay. Okay, winding down here, we have... We have two 2008 Lancer Evolutions. It's a blue one. And a green one. Okay. And then the last four we have to share uh, is a treadmill, black one. And the last three are, we have the Dodge Charger Drift Car, a blue one. A black one. And a silver one. Okay. All right, well, that's all the Hot Wheels I have for today to share with you. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get this process for you guys so you can take a look at it. And then I'll start um, doing the non-Hot Wheels. Um, until then, happy hunting. Um, K-Day is only six days away. So getting close. Um, seven days. Um, so it's Saturday, September 13th. I'm looking forward to it. Um, regardless, I've ordered two, um, two K-Day cases. Um, personally for myself and which is Q case um, I also ordered another um, Q case which is a non K day case so it's a um, regular uh, Hot Wheels case which doesn't have the exclusive colors or the first to market so um, I'll be doing when I get those I'll be doing a, a uh, um, um, opening video for that to share with you guys and I look forward to that so until then happy hunting and we'll talk to you guys later have a good one